Hey everyone, it's Amador. So today's videos have all been about Tilda, <laughs> apparently. Um, I'm just trying to get some of these things done and move that the way, stored, put away, racked, whatever the heck. So anyway, and I actually got this new Tilda book, and this one I got um, from Amazon. Um, I, we have Amazon Prime membership, and trust me, I take full advantage of that puppy because it's not cheap, and it actually went up this year. So anyway, I get my medium weight chipboard, all that stuff. Um, and they have tons of the Tilda books, and most of them uh, you can get through Amazon Prime and with the quick shipping. So anyway, this one is so uh, sunny home style. And this one, I'm actually quite liking. It's one of the bigger ones. This one is, for instance, let me see how wide it is. If you have the um, the fairy tale one, this one, there's it's the same uh, width of that as... Um, Whereas some of them are much smaller. So, um, I think I'm a little Tilda obsessed at this point because either that or I'm doing some serious retail therapy. These are the books I have. Um, yeah, I'm pretty much await that one backwards. Um, so these are the ones I have. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven books. And, well, twelve with this one. So, I might have a, a Tilda habit, okay? I'm going to be a tildeholic at this point. So anyway, but let me show you guys. I'm just going to do a quick flip through because I've already babbled on for a minute um, of the book. So you guys can see. Because once again, you guys, these books don't, you don't have any idea really what's in them. You don't know what book has what pattern. Let me move this up a little bit higher. Um, what book um, has what. So if you're looking for something specific or if there's a theme. I mean, they, they generally go by themes, but you don't know everything that's in it. So this one um, is actually broken down into two sections. It's In the Countryside and By the Sea. Totally love it both. I especially love In the Countryside. Super cute. So let's um, let's uh, flip through this puppy. So there's um, different techniques. Okay, these totally fell in love with those little critters. So as always, um, the first few pages have the techniques and information and... Um, useful stuff for you to create certain things. So this one starts out in the country, excuse me, in the countryside and it has this huge tilde and it has just um, basic pictures, really beautiful. If I had a sunroom like that, trust me, I'd go crazy. They have these little cushions, they have some slippers, these are super cute, these are um, birdhouses. So, so birdhouses, um, sewing kits, sewing jars, birdhouse sewing kits, this gorgeous little bird with um, with the wings and it has the instructions and you guys know um, at the end there's always the patterns this is a cute banner that says we are in the garden and these of course all of these pictures are absolutely gorgeous there's a cute little scarecrow and um, it looks pretty easy to make wish I had a little shed like that um, there's a scarecrow this is just some instructions and what's cu cute is some of these actually have um, the print of the fabrics and stuff. This one is the, uh, it's called Dress to Party, and this is a dress form. Um, two friends, uh, I guess there's two different sizes, and this is really neat fabric that has, like, cameos and stuff. And it has little pictures and everything, and this one right there, there's one that I totally fell in love with. You guys, oh, there's this, um, jewelry mannequins, little dress form, super, super cute. You can, you know, even use it as a pincushion. Um, there's little bags, another bag, that big bow is so cute. This one is gifts for special friends, and this is very lavender themed. Here are, um, the little lavender wing sachets, which I have tons of lavender, I have to get my butt. I actually have to learn how to stitch that way, so I don't even know what it's called, so that's pretty sad. Um, there's this huge angel in this thing. A soap cake, I think that's super cool. It actually, this is an older book, so it shows you, like, different crafts. Now, totally fell in love with this. I thought it was ridiculous, and I want it. I mean, I actually just think it's adorable. Like, it's a cow. Why? I don't know. It's a cow. I mean, they have pigs, cows, deer. Totally love the deer. Um, this one. These are these wall boxes. They're super cute. You make them, and it's just, like, super neat for them to, for you to have stuff on the wall and whatnot. They have that pattern for the rose. They have these chickens in these ones, and this ones, I mean. And this one, I have um, the little crowned. Let's see here. This one's a section garden party. This totally fell in love with. This is, um, 
<coughs> excuse me, Jane Austen inspired dress. So you guys, I'm a massive Jane Austen fan. Totally love it. So I think I'm actually going to try to make that one, even though I'm stupid enough to try something that's even more complicated than the regular ones. I don't know what my damage is. So anyway, and this is the painted rose. And look at these adorable critters. Look at those. I don't even care for mice critters, but look at the little squirrel and the bunny. And this one has a little tiny um, strawberry as well. So, and you guys know I tried my strawberries on the bigger pattern. But look how adorable that is. That's just, and just the way they're so dimensional and they sit, it has like a rect uh, triangular bottom. Look how cute. Look at that itty bitty strawberry. Now that I know how to sew, which I can brag about that, I can try that. Look at these gorgeous fabric cakes. And they have some of these in the little box. Super gorgeous. That would make a super duper like pincushion or something. Here's um, the uh, ice cream cone. There's a crown. Oh, how many minutes? Okay. And now this section is now by the sea. <clears throat> this has quite a bit of stuff. And I was, I was wondering where the dang seahorse was. So it has these little beach houses. Look at these cute beach houses. And a purse. The beach bag. They have a thing for your bottle. Make a little purse for your bottle. Um, cottage by the sea section. It has these cute, adorable little girls in their vintage um, swimwear. And I think that one's the small angel or, I don't know, bathing angels. That's what they're called. The bathing angels. And let me see here. It has these cute puffins. They're just, I, they're cuter than I thought they would look. Oyster catchers and a bottle, um, boat in a bottle. Uh, grandma's cushions. Oop. Oh, totally. I think it's funny I'm getting distracted and I'm not uh, paying attention to making sure everything's in the camera. So, uh, fabric book covers. These are super, super pretty. And there shows this, there's this, uh, this angel again. This one is clothing hanger covers. These are those little espadrilles. I don't know how comfortable they would be, but you know what? That's your call. Uh, some ducks. Now this is beach themed bathroom. And look at this. I don't know if you guys can see that. Super adorable seahorse. I've seen that in some, um, on Pinterest and stuff. Super cute. Some sand castles. These sand castles are actually pretty cute. They'd be really cute for a cottage themed um, kid's room. Some seashell soaps. Fabric boxes. So these older books have um, actual projects. And I make soap, so it's not easy sometimes. But this one is um, Marine Creatures and Seashells. Look how gorgeous that looks. Imagine that that would just brighten up your like living room or something. Pointed snail shells. And then in the back, of course, it has the patterns. Fabric ice creams, strawberry, here's a little strawberry, look how tiny that is, oh my gosh. If I had tried that the first time, I would have lost my mind. Jewelry mannequins, the duck, uh, pointed snail shell, scallop border, um, here is the lavender, um, here's the bird, the lavender sachets, um, the scarecrow, and it's all into pieces, you just print out several of them, and here's the Jane Austen inspired dress, like I said, I've lost my mind and I want to try it, the seahorse is super, super cute, it's royal hens, and all of these huge, this is, um, for like the big, huge, uh, tilde, I mean, the thing is huge, there's, the tildes are big to begin with, but that one is like massive, this one is the, um, this one's the cow, super, super cute, I just think it's adorable. The sandcastle, beach houses, this one is the espadrille, and the the critters, you just basically change up the ears. Here is some of the, these are the embroidery patterns, and just a picture at the end. So yeah, so that one is the book, sorry if I went really fast you guys, I just try to get all of this in a quicker video so there's less uh, time to load this puppy. So yeah, so like I said, I got this one, and I can't remember how much I paid for it, um, from Amazon, if you guys want to go ahead and check it out, um, but they also give you different places where you can buy it at different other, uh, other stores. I just had to check it out, and like I said, I think I'm going to have to cool it on this Tilda Book situation, because I have, excuse me, I have... Four of these big ones, and two, four, six, eight. And I actually had the Tilda Studio, but I gifted that one to my friend P. Hey, P. Um, so, yeah. So, I think I have a problem, y'all. <laughs> I don't know what you think, but, uh, yeah.
So anyway, so if you see, I have some tabs there. I have um, some projects to work on. So yeah, so hope you guys like that. Um, I'll just spread them out. I have too many. <laughs> um, so yeah, I have gotten this one, the So Pretty Christmas. I did get that one on eBay. And I know people are finding them at Barnes & Nobles and other book sites. I'm not a big reader because I don't have the time, unfortunately. So I can't tell you what other bookstores have it. Oh, also another one that does have it, Overstock.com. I ordered one. Oh, crap. See, that went my whole being good. Yeah, I ordered another one. Oh, that's as bad. I know. I know, you guys. All right, so at least you guys can all feel guilty along with me, okay? So anyway. Talk to you guys soon, and bye, everyone.